It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll see TJ Hawkinson. He had a standout game one week ago with three touchdown catches. It's the Vikings and the Bears on Monday night. As this crowd rolled into U.S. Bank Stadium, they were bundled up. Jackets and scarves downright cold outside on this November evening. But all good here inside as we welcome you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tonight we wrap up this Thanksgiving weekend with a compelling matchup as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's got this down to the 35. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover it. But I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Back to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. The clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Again, he'll drop to throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, it moves right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Go. First and goal from the three. Go. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Vikings! T.J. Hawkinson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Vikings put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Pushing his way through. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And that is a historic run for our partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across the 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he doesn't quite do that well. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great play there. Keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Vikings have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this is where it pays out a quarterback. All they need, but it's third down. They'll look to throw here. He's going to get that to his running back. Got him back for it. Touchdown. Kareem Hunt. A five-yard touchdown. And the Vikings will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 
Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office again, yeah, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter, I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, Let's run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Oh, some strong running, and he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that's another big-time run, and it sure looks like the leverage game is being won by the offensive line. They're the low man on just about every snap, and they're winning, pushing back the defensive front and creating great space for their runners. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Shouting through the... And he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Vikings are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. Yeah, this is pretty similar to the Wildcat plays that were bouncing around the league circa 2000. Another first down. his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get.